This is the reason why I miss Hermione slash Emma Watson being in more movies. This reason right here, Little Women. From director and writer Greta Gerwig comes her brand new film, which her last film was Lady Bird, which got all the Oscar nominations, like director, picture, all of it, and that movie was well deserved. I love Lady Bird. I, have, well, I haven't watched it in a good, like, solid six months or so, but I love that movie. It's, it's definitely her best movie. I like that one more than this one. So this is a new movie she, it is, and it's an adapted, adapted, I can't say the word. She adapted it, basically. It's not an original movie, and basically these four girls are sisters after the Civil War. They are supposed to get married to rich guys. Their family are rich and they're like, we want you to get married, but Sush Ronan, the head sister, basically our main character, says, you know what? I'd rather write. And all the writers people, they're like, we need something more inspirational in your writing. There needs to be more better writing, but sh her writing is good, but everyone else sees it as many more. M. Watson's an actress who wants to be a playwriter. Florence Pugh is just actually there to be like, she'll actually do it. She'll actually, she'll actually marry. And the other sister, she was the actress I didn't really recognize, but she was really good. But anyways, this movie I went into pretty excited because I like Greta Gerwig. I like the cast a lot, especially Florence Pugh and us, obviously Hermione Emma Watson. And Social Rowan, she has always been good, especially in Lady Bird, but she's always been a great actress. And the number one thing about this movie is the acting is just fantastic from everyone. Social Ronan, she delivers another performance from Greta Gerwig in this movie. She is so good in this movie. She leads this movie. Emma Watson was really good. Florence Pugh might get nominated for Best Supporting Actress. I think she was really good in this movie, but she has overall had a great year with Find My Family, Midsommar. And now this movie, but she was really good in this movie. I really liked her. I could definitely see her getting nominated. Laura Dern, once again, she was really good in Marriage Story. In this movie, she was really good too. And I, I really liked how this whole movie was a different stories and everything. I liked how you got each, meet each, each sister had their own little plot and every issue and what they had to go through, especially after the Civil War, and like Timothy Chalamet, who was really good in this movie, also in Lady Bird, um, he was really liking Social Ronan, and and then he was the one they were going to marry, and Social Ronan didn't want to do it, and there's a lot more to the movie that, again, I don't get spoilers, but it was just, it was a really feel-good movie. It's definitely a Christmas movie, because it actually has Christmas in the movie, and it comes out on Christmas, but I got to see it today, and I just thought the acting was really good. It was a really good vibe movie. I liked most of the story. Some of the subplots weren't really that interesting. The mo the best storyline is Saoirse Ronan. She's the best one. I she I mean she's the main character, and I I get why she was the most interesting one in my opinion. Everyone else was good. Every story was good. It's just hers was like the most one you actually cared more about. I would say. And also Meryl Streep's in this movie, and I don't even have to say anything about Meryl Streep. If she's nominated, I'd be like, really? Come on, don't need that's like 20 nominations. Come on, stop doing it. But uh, Greta Gerwig, the director, she's she did a great job. I think the dialogue was just like Larry Bird. It was really just it was good dialogue. It was really smart, funny, happy dialogue. But my only like besides like some subplots, my big issue is actually the timeline. There's literally scenes of like you're watching a scene and the next edit, next cut scene is a flashback and the next thing is right back in present. There are times I had no idea we were in the present or the past. They do something with the, the font of the movie. The, the past is more bright. The present is more dark and grim and gray looking, which I could tell, but it was just very jarring. And there was like one time I was like, are we in the future or the past right now? I don't really know right now. But besides that, it's a good movie. I'm definitely not disappointed or anything. I really enjoyed it. I liked it. It was a I I was I, I enjoyed it. There's sad moments. There's funny moments. There's exciting moments. It's a really good feel good movie that probably was, it will get eat up by Oscar nominations because this is the kind of movie Oscar people like, and I could see it get nominated for a few things. Best picture though, I wouldn't say it would even need. I don't say it has a chance of winning. I don't even know if they get nominated, but overall, I like the movie. I'm gonna give Little Women a B plus. If you're a fan of Greta Gerwig, definitely watch this movie. And if you just like going on Christmas time to a feel good movie and watching a good movie, I would say this is definitely a movie for you. Definitely nothing sexual or mean or anything or harassment or outrageous, nothing like that. It's a PG movie too, so definitely go to get a chance if you can go see it. Anyway, guys, you guys enjoy this review, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye, guys.